Alright, so today we're going to look at hooking up the endurance laser uh, to your system. Now my system is uh, Mach 3. Uh, it's a homemade CNC machine. Um, well, it might as well be homemade. It's, 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 it's been Frankenstein so many times. I originally bought uh, this machine off eBay, but everything's been upgraded. Um, uh, but I've got, uh, I've got both a Gecko uh, 540 and then also a uh, C10 breakout board. Um, and I'm going to be hooking this system up to the C10 breakout board um, simply because it provides uh, a 3 volt TTL signal as opposed to the Gecko's 5 volt. And this doesn't want to look at 5 volts, this wants to look at 3 volts um, or 1.8 to 3 volts, I think it was. Um, and so that's automatically configured to this. If you have something that's 5 volts, you'll need. Uh, something to step down to three volts, which they sell tons of. Um, okay, so I've already got the, the laser mounted to my machine. I made this bracket a long time ago for my other lasers, and uh, this hole's kind of lined up, so I just mounted it right to right to there. Um, these are the wires coming off, and then this is the board, this is the, the box. Okay, now this wire here, uh, you cannot change the, the, um, the length on. Uh, it, there's no plug and so I think I've got some of these plugs coming I'm going to try to chop this and, and be able so that I can mount this box over here somewhere not on the table and maybe run these wires up here um, so just want to extend them a little bit because it's just not enough yet okay so when you get this out of the box you have the, um, the box the power supply um, and if you're in the US you get the you got to put one of these on. Um, you also have this, which is supposed to tell you the the uh, voltage going to the going to the laser. And then you have this wire here. That's some Y Y connector. Okay, so you can watch his video on how to. Okay, so you can watch his video on how to hook it all up. Um, but it's really straightforward if you just think about it for a second. Um, obviously, this needs to be plugged into the power. This is a uh, voltage that goes to the laser diode. So this has a male and a female. This here has a female. So obviously, I'm going to hook the male into this one, right? Because there's almost no other way that could go. And then this has a female. This has a female, okay? This has a female and then two males, right? So obviously, one male is going to go to that female, one male is going to go to that female, the last one is female, the power supply is male, okay? So I mean it's really straightforward. I mean if you look at it, there's, there's, there's a couple ways you can probably screw it up, but not if you're really thinking about it. Um, so, so it shouldn't be that hard. Um, and that was, it's actually fairly easy if you just think about it. You have male, male, um, female, female, and the way that this hooks up makes a lot of sense. Like I said, I put the long side of the Y cable to this box, but this one again now is, is still kind of kind of short. I don't have anywhere to really stick this, okay? So that's just going to sit on the table for now until I extend all these wires. Uh, and then the last thing I need to do is if you want to use the focus part of this board, of this uh, box, um, you have to have power coming into the Arduino, okay? And so I've got this power supply that has these USB chargers on it, and so I'm just going to tap into that with this little USB cable. So even though this is Arduino, um, I'm just really applying power with this, okay, with that stick, with that uh, cable. All right, so now everything is hooked up. Everything is in. It's not plugged in yet. Okay, so we can go ahead and plug it in. Okay, the key is off right now. So uh, the only thing that came on when I plugged it in was basically power to the fan. Okay, now that fan is open, and so you don't want to stick your finger in there because you're going to get it chopped. So um, just be careful of that. 
Um, as soon as I turn this on, voltage comes on, okay, and tells me how many volts for the output and then how many amps, and the amps is zero because I'm not sending anything to the diode, okay? So if I turn on, let me get my goggles. Okay, you always got to use the safety goggles. Safety is uh, super important, okay? But if I turn on the focus, you can see the laser comes on. Not, not focused very well, so it's not burning anything yet. Um, but if I focus that, even though this is the focus setting, and there's only 0.2 amps going to the diode, uh, it can still burn. So if I go down and get that in focus, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm burning a little dot there, okay? So you do have to be careful when you get it into focus, you want to use this black card that he gives you to, to set your focus with. Okay, now it's kind of weird the way you set the focus because you, you basically have to listen for this crinkling sound on on the card, which is about as low tech as I think you could probably get, um, but it does work. So if you put this on there and if you can kind of move that fan another direction so you can't hear it, if I didn't have my my motors on, you can hear the little crinkling sound, okay? Um, but like I said, it's a little low tech. I think what I'll probably do is I will probably um, once I get everything set up and everything's done I will make a, a, a block that's the exact distance of the exact focus. I'll figure out what the exact focus is with this method um, and then I'll make a block that's exactly that size so I can just match it up to that block and I know I'm in fairly good focus. Alright so now if I turn on full power Let's just go ahead and do. Okay, now that's full power. That definitely burned a dot. Okay, nice big black dot there. So everything is working. Everything is plugged in. But what we really want is we want the computer to turn this on and off. Now, I haven't figured out PWM yet through Mach 3 and the C10 board. But I have figured out how to turn the laser on and off. And I kind of gauge, I kind of use the speed of the machine to, to um, give me a lighter burn or a darker burn, depending on how, you know, if I'm trying to cut through something, I slow the machine down to about 20 inches per minute. And if I'm just trying to mark something, I'll speed the machine up so that way it's just marking the surface. Um, what I have, okay, so over here, I have a green and a black wire. We're going to hook these up first. So, and I've got these... Um, just a little alligator clips for now because again this is kind of a temporary temporary setup so I'm going to put the black on the black and then I'm going to move this over here and the red to the red and the black to the black okay now what you get is when I'm in PWM mode, this has three modes, focus, PWM, and then of course you can turn the laser on full power yourself if you want. I leave it on mode, I turn it on to PWM, okay, and now it's listening for my signal from the computer. Alright, so here's a look at my entire setup. Um, I've got the computer up here, and in the computer I've got two parallel ports. One is connected to my uh, Gecko drive which is here and that drives all my motors and then I've got the other parallel port which took to the C10 board which drives uh, my fourth axis and my laser. I've got a couple power supplies here, I've got the extra uh, motor driver here for the uh, fourth axis and the spindle is here, we're not messing with that but that's my spindle hookup. All right, let me zoom in on the C10 board and I'll show you my wiring for that. Alright so on the C10 board you can see I've got my this black wire here, and that is going into ground. Okay, so ground is easy. The blue wire is going into the Y step. Okay, Y step. Now this is uh, Y enable five or five volts enable direction and then step. Now 
with these breakout boards, I mean, they're all basically just maps to a pin on the parallel port, okay? And they're all just outputs. They're just gonna output a, a, a signal and, um, and that's what we're tapping into. We're tapping into that, uh, that signal that's gonna turn on and off our laser, okay? Now, on this particular breakout board, the C10, the Y, the y step port is mapped to pin four, okay? Now that's the one thing you really have to remember, and I think that trips up a lot of people, is you need to know what all of these ports and pins are, the pins are. So this port is the Y step maps to pin four, okay? And now when I show you next in Mach 3, I'll show you when that comes into play. And that's probably the hardest part about figuring out this laser business is, is which which port to use and what pin to set in Mach 3, okay? It doesn't matter which one you choose, but in the manual it's gonna tell you what pin that corresponds to on the parallel port, and that's what you set in Mach 3. All right, so let's go over to Mach 3, and I'll show you what that looks like. All right, here we are looking at Mach 3, and in Mach 3, basically to change the settings for, for what we're dealing with here, that is in config, here, config, ports and pins, okay, and then as you can see here, this is port one, I added that, that parallel port, as I mentioned, um, and that's the setting for that here, which is called port two, okay, so my settings are going to be for port two, if you happen to have just one C10 board or just one uh, breakout board, yours will probably be port one, okay. Mine is port two, and uh, you just have to remember that when we look at these settings. And where we're going to go to is in the output signals, okay? And you can see down here at the bottom, I've got output number one. I have it enabled. It's on port two. You will probably have port one. And then the pin, my pin is number four. You're gonna pick whatever pin corresponds to the port that you decided to use. So like if I'd use Y direction, uh, that's probably uh, pin three. Um, so depending on what, and you have to look in the manual for that, uh, and it should be, there should be a chart that tells you exactly what they correspond to because they want you to set it, your settings in here for the motors. Sometimes, depending on your board, depending on what system you use, you're gonna wanna set this active low, okay? If you do all of this and everything and you're sure everything's right, and, you, and the laser just is on all the time and goes off when, when you hit the spindle or it's just on all the time, sometimes it's just you need to set this active low to true. Um, I don't have to do that with this board, um, but just know that this is a common thing to have to change depending on your board, okay? Uh, and then you hit okay, and you hit reset, and then now when you turn the spindle on and off, the laser comes on. And you can't see that because you're looking at the screen, but it's coming on and off. Trust me. Now, very, very, very important, if you don't catch anything else from this video, uh, make sure you go, once you get it right, you go to Config, Save Settings, okay? None of that stuff I did was actually saved until I just did that. So even though I hit OK and everything ran and everything was good, as soon as I closed Mach 3, those settings are gone. So this is the most frustrating thing with Mach 3, and that you take half an hour and you set up all your motors, you set up all your ports, all your pins, you get everything set up, and you forget to save, and you close, and you gotta do it all over again when you reopen Mach 3. All right, and so that is it for Mach 3. All right, so I hope that helped you get your endurance laser hooked up to your CNC machine. And now this doesn't really apply 100% to the endurance laser. 99% um, of the lasers out there that you're gonna buy are gonna have this kind of thing. They're going to have a TTL. Um, you know, you're going to apply power to the laser one way or the other, and then you're going to use these TTL wires to, uh, to turn them on and off with Mach 3. Um, and then, like I said, the next magic happens when you generate the G-code. You want to make sure that you use a laser post processor um, because you don't want, once you get this in focus, you don't want it moving up and down in the Z. And so if you use a regular G-code, um, you know, it's going to go up, and it's going to go over, and it's going to go down, and you don't want that. Okay, now I suppose you could plan ahead and program in where your focus is going to be. Uh, I like to get my focus, run my job, and keep it at the same Z the whole time. 
All right, that's it for this video. Uh, like and subscribe if you like what I, I do here. And uh, there's going to be more videos with the laser coming on. Um, I've done some previous videos before where I've shown you how to program uh, laser jobs in Aspire. Um, so you can look at those. And then, uh, and then I'm gonna. The next video I'm gonna do is going to be me um, seeing what kind of material I can cut through. And, uh, and that's it. I uh, hope you liked it. And um, thanks for watching.